the crypto space. It's been carrying on for a while now, almost exhausting how long this has been going on, that the bull run is here. Our moment has arrived. Buckle up, YOLO, you know the drill. This is the moment. But when we really look at everything, XRP, 57 cents, Cardano, 52 cents, Polkadot, seven bucks, you know, Cosmos Atom, under $10. These aren't even really great recovery prices. And we're on the cusp of this historic event. On Friday, you know, a lot of people were speculating we would get the announcement that the Bitcoin ETF is final. And we didn't, but we almost did. It's as, as good as done. We got enough there where we can be comfortable. This is going to happen. It will be announced sometime next week. Bitcoin on the 24 hours up 1%. Ethereum less than a percent. And the rest of it, a sea of red. A sea of freaking red out there. Look at this. What's going on here? We saw Rand Nooner saying the following. ETF approval will be a sell the news event, says Rand Nooner. The weakness of all coins in all segments is evidence that the market treats the potential ETF approval in the U.S. as a sell the news event. As such, it might kick start a painful correction very soon. Look, I'm not a trader. I don't know what to tell you what happens next, but this is not impressive. This is not on the cusp of this you know, historic day, you know, a big run up. You think at least Bitcoin would be firing up and up and up, and it's not. Uh, is that already priced into the markets? Probably to some extent. What you can't price in, though, is the actual flows. Are people going to jump in here and just start going wild over Bitcoin? In my opinion, what this is, it's very similar to when Ripple won the court case, XRP relisted on U.S. exchanges. It's going to pay dividends down the road when the bull run actually starts. Because I'll tell you what people are going to do with this. Much like when they go to buy a coin and they can just click on XRP and invest in that crypto, you're going to see massive gains. With Bitcoin, you're going to have people shoveling in their retirement funds, everything in their life savings and their brokerage getting carried away with FOMO. And I'm not suggesting or condoning uh, people do this. I'm not telling you not to do. Not your advisor, not your father. We know how this works, right? We're all adults here. But it's going to happen. But it's going to happen when this space really starts to grow, takes off, FOMO grips really the globe. This is a global thing. And you have that new tool, that new way to invest in Bitcoin. Then I think that uh, you know this ETF is going to make a huge difference. And you see a lot more money flowing into the crypto space because you have that new avenue that makes it very easy for a lot of people, a lot of tourists, a lot of new money to invest in cryptocurrencies. We're hearing this rumor that, you know, BlackRock, they got $2 billion ready to flow into Bitcoin e uh, ETFs. But the strange part about that, what did they say? Did they say new money, investors that have been waiting to invest in the space? No. They said current Bitcoin investors that want extra exposure. I'm not worried about the current investors. I want the new investors, the new people that are going to be piling in here. I want to hear you have $2 billion of people that have never bought Bitcoin before, and now they're coming flooding in. That's going to make a world of difference, and we're going to get there. If I had to, if I had to guess, and again, that's all I'm doing here. I'm not trading this different, regardless of what I think will happen. When it's announced, you're going to see crypto really, you know, go on a nice little run and go up, but it'll be short lived. And when we're looking a month from now back at this, it'll be a little lackluster for now, but I think long term it's going to be a big event. So that's the way I see this playing out. Very similar. You saw when Ripple won, XRP went up quite a bit in price. Pretty nice little run, but then it gave it all back. And we're waiting for this space really to wake up. If you haven't been around, this might feel crazy. And yes, we've had great runs. You have Solana. To me, Solana feels like Link, where they got their house in order, and Link went ripping up you know, the charts. And people thought it was just going to take over the whole world, but it got up to kind of an acceptable valuation and then kind of cruised with everything else uh, for the rest of the bull run. Actually, it fell down the ordering a little bit, and I think Solana will do the same. Again, I think Solana long-term, probably a nice uh, Ethereum layer 2. I don't think it's a great layer 1 smart contract blockchain, and I don't think it will dominate that space. Just my opinion, the way I see things playing out. But I wouldn't see Solana jumping up to number 5 as an indicator that our moment has arrived. Uh, you're going to have to see Bitcoin... Ethereum ripping and running, and then you'll see the altcoin uh, market wake up. And I just don't feel that we've got there yet.
Now, we're seeing a lot of people uh, now pouring in saying, you know what, don't approve a Bitcoin ETF, which is too late. It's going to happen. But we see this article here. Bitcoin ETF approval would be a, a historic mistake, not an event, but a mistake. Dennis Keller, CEO of nonprofit organization Better Markets, has urged the United States SEC not to approve a spot Bitcoin ETF. It would be a grave, if not historic, mistake and would certainly lead to massive investor harm if the SEC approves the pending rule change to allow for Bitcoin ETFs. If you ask me, who is Dennis Keller? I've never heard of him. If I had to guess, probably this guy right here. It's probably who's writing in or... We know how this works. They have puppets. You know, have people object, send in uh, their objections. It's not going to matter, though, at this point in time. It's game over. Saw this video here by Coin Bureau. Uh, a lot of people up in arms about it. Look, uh, one part about this I want to talk about is the regulatory stuff. In my mind, Cardano is in no worse shape than everything else, but know that risk is out there. And any project could be hit by the SEC. Hopefully, they move beyond trying to go after individual tokens. You know, they're on exchanges now. But you just don't know. Now, do I think uh, Cardano's ADA token is more likely than Polkadot or, you know, Cosmos Atom or anything else? No, not absolutely not. Now, we are seeing Cardano take this threat seriously and really shore a lot of things up, getting ready for that possibility. And it could happen, of course. But uh, there's no reason why I would think that Cardano has more of a problem than anyone else. And, uh, you know, guy over here at Coin Bureau usually does a good job. Is it the perfect video? No but I don't think it was as bad as everyone's making it out to be. Uh, Bitcoin, I, I, I covered this the other day. Um, you had this really weird transaction where almost $1.2 million went to a Satoshi wallet, the Genesis wallet, the very first wallet here. We have Cohen Grogan, a director at Coinbase, suggesting that the anonymous Bitcoin transfer could be some weird form of ETF marketing. Uh, I don't understand how that works. Like you burn $1.2 billion, $2 million, excuse me, and that's going to market the ETF. I just don't see that. Uh, furthermore, the only people paying attention to this is really goofball crypto people, the, the broader market, regular folks. They don't know that someone sent $1.2 million to Satoshi's Genesis wallet. They wouldn't even know what that meant if they did hear about it. So I, I don't think it's a marketing thing. Uh, we see here most funds originated from a wallet associated with Binance. And that this is either Satoshi waking up and depositing Bitcoin or someone just burned over a million dollars. You know, I, I don't know what to think here, what the purpose of it is. Hopefully, whoever sent the transaction explains themselves. Maybe a mistake. Maybe they just had that wallet for some reason in their list and sent it to the wrong person. I don't know. Pretty wild uh, transaction there that's just starting to catch the news. And again, hopefully we'll get a little bit of information there. Lastly, I'd tell you this. Look at Jay Clayton, man. We're on the cusp of a, a Bitcoin ETF being approved. He's saying, hey, it's coming. The guy was looking like a drunk Dracula for a long time, pale, you know, hair disheveled. He's perked up here. He's ready. He's ready for crypto to be integrated into traditional finance. What a crazy time we live in. Let me know what you think down below. As always, please like, please subscribe. The revolution will be televised right here on Jungle Link.